Buy some on hardware. All right, this week in Python on Hardware Land, um, kind of a big deal, I guess, depending on what you think a big deal is uh, in the world of electronics. So, Sony, they were they were making the Raspberry Pis in the UK, and they still do. They still do, and they make some in Japan. Yeah, yeah. and so this announcement is Sony backs the Raspberry Pi with funding and access to AI chips. So basically, the way I'm reading this is um, Sony's investing in Raspberry Pi at the valuation of 500 million. That's what Raspberry Pi, the, not the foundation. This is the commercial the trading company, company. Trading company. And what it looks like they're doing is saying, hey, like we're going to you know, make Raspberry Pis, but we want to make sure there's AI chips on the edge. So a lot of the uses for Raspberry Pi is for commercial uses. Yeah. So and people want to use Edge AI for voice recognition or face recognition without connecting to the internet or without needing internet control. So, so many people use um, Raspberry Pis for digital signage or like entry computers or, yeah. you know, whatever. Um, a lot of products use them. So it will be interesting to see um sony investing is really smart because of course if they're manufacturing they want to see raspberry pi succeed but they also have deep insight into the raspberry pi um manufacturing and distribution and uh, like i said they manufacture in uh, wales they uh, i think they manufacture in japan as well yeah um, and one little bit that um i thought that's interesting it says in a typical year roughly 70 percent of the sales now come from commercial customers embedding it in products and factories or consumer devices yeah so raspberry pi the commercial company 70 percent going to industry yeah. Um, and you know, there is a, uh, shortage of Raspberry Pis. Yeah. Uh, we're, I think we're one of the few companies that's figured out a solution that, um, you're not going to please everybody all the time, but you can please some of the people some of the time. And we're getting, you can look on like RPI locator on Twitter. Yeah. People are getting Raspberry Pis from us. Absolutely. Um, you can always, you know, find people who are buying them, put them on eBay for like $200, but we're not. We're not interested in it. But they, they are becoming more available. And of course, yeah. the compute modules are very popular with the industry. I mean, that's they clearly they designed it for an industry customers. Yeah. And so CNBC has um overview article. They dig into a little bit more of the finances and like what this could mean, the specific uh chip, and uh what they're doing with education and more. So check it out. Um it's interesting as far as like what's going on in the electronics world in general so uh raspberry pi an amount of funding so before they got funding on a valuation of 500 million so you figure like 45 million or something it's probably this round is probably the same too so yeah yeah so maybe maybe let's be like really conservative like let's say it's like 60 million dollars all together all the funding yeah so it gives them a good runway to beef up production hire more people do a lot more stuff um arduino last late last year 30 something million in funding um and then they have a pro line and that looks like the direction they're going they're going to the enterprise also, to be commercial what commercial. yeah well, so like that seems to be their focus as well um and then you have particle um i think they haven't been in the news for funding recently i don't know if they're yeah. going for it right now and then there's like other maker maker s companies from the past that that took on funding there was little bits um that's now part of sphero and then there was MakerBot and then eventually went to, to Stratasys. So I don't have time to do like a big maker business overview or like all these players. Well, um, somebody else can do it. Someone else should do it. Um, it's one of those things where like, I think when you're doing the business of hardware, it's really hard to write about it. Plus I'll say this, like back in the day or even now, anytime. So I have the article about um, Arduino, like, over 10 years ago yeah. on make now anytime if i write about arduino you know some crank will say oh you're just you're writing about it because you're you know you want to take over their business or you, like there's just nutty people online and so you can't it's hard to write about things if you're in the same business so i always put our disclosures and everything that we do but it's an interesting time there's more investment going in the hardware um good example was today with these rp2040 chips we're doing video out like this is like really intense stuff yeah, that, cool. that you can do so yay uh, i'm happy to see raspberry pi get a new round of funding because the rp2040 has been something that's really helped us quite a bit yeah um, especially during the chip shortage 
and uh, hopefully they dump more resources into stuff like this. Yeah. I really, really liked it. Um, more Python on hardware. Um, so the other thing, PyCon is coming up next week. Um, check out our extensive post. Kat will be there. Jeff Miller will be there. Please go say hi and meet with them. Also, if you're attending, let Kat know ahead of time on the Discord channel, and they can get you set up um, for if you want to do the sprints and things like that. So that is this week's PyCon hardware news. Um, don't forget, you can get this newsletter every single week delivered to your mailbox from Adafruit Daily. Go to adafruitdaily.com. Sign up. 